looking at the process, you're not done as a bank reviewing all of the accounts and what may have been fraudulently opened, unauthorized accounts. You're looking now back to 2009, but the board report found that some of this went back to 2002. Mm -hmm. Are you committed to expanding the investigation back to 2002? I'm committed to telling our customers that if we've made a mistake, we will make it right by them. But that and means so, them, well, but Tim, that means them bringing it to you. What I'm saying is, will you commit to looking internally as a bank all the way back to 2002? The best we can, Poppy. I think that the challenge we have is just the quality of the data that goes back 5, 10, 15, maybe as, as long as the board report is. We've, we've reached out to our customers and we've said, look, if you have an issue, come in and see us. That's why we reached out to 40 million uh, in, the, in the fourth quarter and then 3 million small businesses. So I, we're absolutely committed to do that. I hear that and that's mm -hmm. what your CFO said mm -hmm. you know, to, to American Banker in a recent interview. But mm -hmm. aren't you then putting the onus on customers to figure this out and to come to you with it rather than saying, all right, if we're going to truly get to the bottom of it, truly repair culture, we need to know every instance of what went wrong as far back as it went wrong. So we're going to do our best. I know the data may be uh, you know, not fully there, mm -hmm. but we're going to do our best. And we are going to expand this uh, investigation all the way back to 2002. So Why not try to uncover every, you know, turn over every stone? We, 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 uh, we've, we've done everything that we can to turn over every stone. You've talked about you looking at, at every mistake we've ever made to change our culture. I think we need to move very, very quickly to make improvements in the culture, particularly within our retail bank. How do we do that? Again, we change the incentive plan. We talk about how we lead and manage people differently. We've got a new leadership team in there. We've got a new way that we manage risk, that we measure performance all those things are helping to change the culture in our retail banking business but you're not going to expand it past 2009 for now right now what we're saying to our customers if they have a concern about their account they should come in and see us the independent board report revealed the existence of an internal report at Wells Fargo prepared 12 years ago and in a sense it sort of eerily foretold what played out in the scandal it was a report titled gaming and it warned that employees had a, quote, incentive to cheat based on, quote, a fear of losing their job. It recommended at that time, 2004, potentially eliminating these sales goals and sales um, things that were unrealistic to achieve all, all the way back then. How is it, and you were at the bank then, mm -hmm. how is it that Wells Fargo didn't act 2004? It, well, it would have saved you guys all of this. I, I don't know the answer to that because I wasn't in that part of the bank yep. then. I was in our wholesale banking group. And when I read that, I felt horrible. I think it's an example of a mistake that we made. Um, we should have dealt with and addressed some of the concerns about the incentive compensation plan then. It shouldn't have taken us as long as it did to deal it, with that. Why those. do you think it did? I mean, your job now is to figure out how do you repair the bank's reputation right. and how do you make sure none of this happens again? I mean, what's the lesson learned from that? To see a report like this in 2004 right. that goes to a lot of upper management right. and no one does anything. The, the, the lessons are the following. The first is that we've got to encourage our team that if they see an issue or a concern, they should raise their hand. We're encouraging them to do that. We've got to create an, a, a culture within the company and continue to improve our culture that rewards people for doing the right things for our customers, for raising concerns. And then when we see those concerns, we need to deal with them more quickly. Those are examples of mistakes that we made. The changes that we've made since I've become CEO are there to, to address those issues. Let's talk a bit about uh, John Sumpf, your, your predecessor, someone you were very close to, not only professionally, but I would assume personally, as you were both leaders at this bank. Did he not understand the gravity of this situation? Did he have blinders on? What happened on his part, do you think? Well, I think when you look at John's career at Wells Fargo, there's a lot to be proud of in that he was the CEO and then the chairman and CEO when Wells Fargo and Wachovia t came together. 
which was and arguably it was the most successful combination in financial services history. Having said that, John would also be the first one to acknowledge that he made some mistakes. I think he said that publicly. Some of what the board report found, and he did say that publicly and in his, his congressional testimony, but this is some of what the board report found about him specifically, that he would, quote, minimize problems despite growing indications the situation was worsening that he did not engage in investigation and critical analysis to fully understand the problem, and that he, he himself, this report says, received numerous customer and employee complaints about the sales practices. Did John Sumpf mislead you? Do you feel misled by him, or do you think he didn't see the magnitude? Well, I think the best person to ask that is John Stumpf. From my perspective, uh, I agree that John made some mistakes, like we all made mistakes. He, again, he acknowledged those mistakes. What, what I'm focused on right now is making sure that if there are any mistakes that we haven't uh, fixed at Wells Fargo, that we get right on those. So how about moving forward? Uh, as you work to do that, you do have, according to your own SEC filings, a Department of Justice investigation, an SEC investigation, other agencies investigating. Is there any update that you can give us on those? No. No, we're continuing to cooperate with the investigations by the various agencies of government, and th those are going to play out the way they're going to play out. We're going to continue to have good relationships with our regulators and any of those agencies, and we're going to cooperate.